Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Price. In this video, we'll be looking at the Asus ROG Strix TRX40 E Gaming, a beautiful motherboard that retails at about US 540 in Malaysia, around RM2500. I know the price tag is on the high side, but I can tell you this board is definitely worth the price. Starting from the upper corner, we have a beautiful looking I.O. cover of which I'll go into the details later. On the upper side, there's another heatsink and this one comes with dual fans. Here's a closer look at the heatsink with the cover removed. Underneath these heatsinks lies the VRM that's using 16 Infineon TDA21462 power stages. At the rear, it has two LAN ports, one of which is an anti-surge 2.5 gig LAN and it has 8 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A plus a Type C port, 1 USB BIOS flashback button, 4 USB 2.0 ports, 1 optical SPDIF out and 5 audio jacks. The M.2 connectors reside under the plate that's placed right below the PCIe 16 slot. Not the most ideal of location considering you have to remove the graphics card just to make changes to the M.2 devices. Speaking of M.2 connection, I like that there is a vertical M.2 connector on the otherwise rather common looking front side. The best part about this board is the Live Dash OLED that provides you actual meaningful information on the boot status rather than just the usual code that you have to either memorize or refer to the manual. Once it's powered on, it will display the CPU temperature by default and you can customize it further by showing personalized images instead. I have however one issue when I'm using this board and it's not the board problem, it's the packaging problem. Now if you look at the product website, it says that this is a customizable OLED. Looking through the manual, I cannot find any instruction on how to customize the OLED, which software to use. I head over to the product page, I couldn't find the software as well. There's AI Suite and all that. I tried, I tried downloading and really there's no detail on the product page nor the manual on how to customize this. I googled around, reached a few links and to finally decided that it was the Armory Crate software that allows me to customize the LED. And that software is not on the TRX40 e Gaming's product page. Instead, I went to Asus AIO product, meaning the all-in-one liquid cooling system. Yep, I went to that product page to download the Armory Crate. Then only I was able to customize this OLED display. Now, that is being me, a technical user, spending some almost half an hour to figure that out. What more for the average user who is not so savvy? Yes, I spent time to Google, to look through the pages, to make sure that I'm not missing anything and really it wasn't there. I did the best I can and to find out that, that Armory Crate was the, was the right software and that software was not on this TRX40 eGaming's product page. And don't let me, don't get me started on how poorly designed is ASUS support page where you download stuff, where the highlight is the version number, the date and the size instead of the software itself. Now, all right, that's enough on my rant on my poor experience in trying to set up the OLED display. Live Dash OLED aside, the board does come with a few areas that are RGB LED enabled. Lastly, for those who want to tweak, there's the usual ROG UEFI interface. Alright, so we come to the end of this video. The ASUS ROG Strix TRX40 eGaming is a solid board. Even at this price point, I think it's justified, especially when you consider the appearance and especially the customizable OLED display. Thumbs up, go badge from me. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Bye-bye.